Okay, hey, you all, uh, welcome back to another ash applications video. Uh, in this video, what I'll cover is five don'ts for your uniforms. So once you're getting your storing your uniforms or you're getting ready for a ceremonial occasion, uh, these are five things that you want to try and avoid, and I'll also show you how you can avoid them. Right. First one. Okay, if you own one of the ADF parade belts, you have a, an occasion coming up where you want to polish your brass. Okay, and you should already know this, but people just do get lazy and they decide, hey, let's polish the brass on the belt. Okay, never works. Um, I've made it on, on the actual video that I made about um, preparing your belt and putting brass on you actually see the demonstration that I did on it so let's just take the time to take the brass off it doesn't take long at all to polish it and then place it back onto the belt um, so let's do that there is of course an exception to that rule so if you do own a Sam Brown belt you do know that there's uh, brass fixtures on the belt and so what I would say to you there is use brass O sparingly so you don't have to use um, you know massive amounts that just spill over the side just reuse a nice tiny bit onto the, uh, the flat pieces uh, and try and avoid getting into the grooves of the belt because once the brass O dries it dries green uh, and it stands out like nobody's business or you know the analogy of using the greyhound so yeah so there you go the first don't don't polish your brass on your belt okay the next don't that we have is with our trousers okay so the don't is don't hang your trousers up in the middle okay we've just used on this example the poor example uh, we've just used a normal coat hanger and placed the trousers on the coat hanger. Okay, you can see there's a massive uh, big line across the trousers. Okay, and you'll see that when you take your, your trousers into the dry clean is when they give them back to you, they give you back on, on, a, on a coat hanger, but they usually have a, a cardboard uh, lining on top of the um, coat hanger. Uh, that's an interim and only an interim um, storage solution um, even if you leave it on there uh, for an extended period of time you will get that line so don't hang them up in the middle okay what you do do and I, this is on the um, video I made about ironing trousers and also placed on the head of store them um, you can store them uh, you can see with the mess um, trousers that we've got here we've got the, uh, the actual hangers on the other side or on the example here that we've got with the polyester trousers you can hang them up from the belt side using the same uh, type of trouser hangers okay that's the best way to hang them up um, you'll you'll never get a line in there and it lets the trousers fall and it keeps the crease in there so that's the best way to do it right the next don't that we have um, staying on the theme of trousers um, is once you're dressed, ready to go out on for your parade, um, don't sit down. Uh, and why I say that is once you do sit down, you're adding all these creases, especially in around the crotch. You get all these creases coming in, um, especially if you're sitting down for a long period of time, and it just looks unsightly. Um, I'll put a couple of photos up as I'm speaking of and examples of that. Um, some of well-known and famous prominent people um, not wearing uniforms but suits gives you the same effect um, so hand in hand with that if you're not on a parade but you do wear polyesters as um, part of the dress of the day um, don't use starch on them and just use them just iron them with water because what you'll find is when you use starch and you're sitting down a lot you'll um, have those um, creases form very prominently because of the starch okay so don't just use nice um, don't, don't use starch at all when you're just using the dress of the day and you'll um, have less um, of those creases forming in around the crotch. Alright, next don't. 
is don't store your precious slouch hat in the car. Okay, yeah, you can transport it in the car, just don't leave it in there. Uh, extended periods of time, what happens is the car heats up and gets really hot. And then that causes damage to your hat. All the leather inside it will shrink. The hat size can actually shrink as well. And if you leave it in a position where the um, brim is upturned or in a, an unnatural, unflat position, it'll start to dry and harden in that position. Alright, so there you go. Don't leave your slouch out in the car. Right, and the next one is um, make sure you store your slouch hat on a flat surface. Uh, and also, um, hand in hand with that, is make sure you put something that's um, flat and heavy on the brim as well. And that just prevents it from upturning, because that does happen. Um, you, all you need to do is go into a uh, second hand shop and look at some of the old slats that are sitting there just on the shelf and they'll just look all lumpy and have uh, more twists than the 60s in the brim. Um, so store it on a flat surface. Um, if you want to go all out, uh, by all means, grab a um, slouch hat press and carrier. Um, purpose made for storing your hat, grade one or grade two. So make sure you do store them. Uh, before you do place them into storage, uh, I recommend using some methylated spirits in a spray bottle. And um, I'll put some footage up on that. And it just, that just keeps the hat firm. Um, especially with your Akubras, the Akubras um, are quite soft and they can go um, out of shape uh, quite quickly if not stored properly. Um, so you don't want your hat to look like this. Okay, if you just keep an eye on it, keep it stored properly, uh, they're very robust hats and they'll, they'll bounce back and um, they'll continue to look good. So there you go, there's your, uh, there's your five um, don'ts. Um, Hope you got something out of that. Uh, I intend to make some more just on those just little tips because uh, they're they're intermingled through all the videos that I do. So rather than watching you know 20 hours of videos, you, I'll just give you some some tip videos. See how you go from there. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. Have a great day. See, this is where I did the demonstration um, of putting the brass on the polishing the brass on the belt. You can see this side here is clean. Um, this side here is still got the remnants from where I demonstrated the putting the brass on there. And that, and that, that was a couple of years ago.